how is it going broccolis i'm so sorry and today i'm going to be playing max pain now last time you saw this one uh, what do you say that bald guy called alex right that guy who had the shiny head as you remember in part 2 and yeah we we went to some new hotel or something like that anyways let's just begin the game so yeah we reached chapter 3 last time something is called yeah we knocked out some two brothers no i Shut up. A letter on the desk caught my eye. We got to go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. Shut up, let me read this letter. Pino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnetti. Gagnetti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. That's so disgusting. That's exact words. Quote. Vinny, you're in charge of this one. Unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see it through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's going to get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up for your Benito, Benitos. A VD deal man added security, locked doors, lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the notes margin. So we have to go there, right? There he is. How dare you open this door? What I told you about not opening this door. What the hell are you doing? That's so in inappropriate right now. Anyways, who cares? Let's just open this. I thought I saw something here. What is this? Oh, we got health kit. What are those banging noises? Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator been busted for a decade or more. Okay, so let's go down. What is this? Sorry I have to kill you. What are all those boxes doing here? Lying over here. Yeah, this really doesn't look like a good hotel. Previously, our lords and ladies, Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies. Okay, enough dirty things. Okay. Acer Corporation. I thought somebody was actually here. Okay, that's really weird. Shut up. Stop watching all of this. From the very first moment. Switch off that shit. That's what you get for seeing all of that. Stop talking to yourself in the bathroom. The head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. What the hell is that? Are you good? Shut up. Shut up. 
What the lady start crying? It's your mom. Oh, slow mode. That was not epic. Sorry, I pressed that by mistake. Oh, how the hell did he go there? Let's open this. Go to the other side, right? No, wait, I already came from there. I actually can't find that room. What's over here? Just give me a second. I think I checked everywhere, right? Or did I miss something? I seriously don't get it. I think there's a lock here. I have to shoot that. Yeah, that one. It took me so long to realize that, sorry. Shut up! Take this jumping shoot. Oh wait, that didn't work. What's the point of doing that now? What is that us over there? And extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. What's he what's here? What are you doing? Uh, it looks like he had a terrible day. I don't trust you. So 
freaking right you don't mess with me and you too yeah go flying off to narnia now idiot gets gets what he deserves that sound works as you okay i found the room where did you see the letter who shot me just now and we let's just check this Our investigation it turned up nothing to link angelo punchinello the head of the punchinello family to val here all tracks had ended with jack lupino the letter of muerte's room was signed by the don himself it was the first hint that the kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate the trouble you got into after the chicago screw up the punchinello family bailed you out you have been waiting for a chance to pay us back One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. That's a safe there. What is that? What the suck? Have to shoot that? Oh my god. The guy got a voice crack so badly. You suck at shooting. Okay, you didn't have to say that two times. The hooker had left her diary on the table. The what? Oh, okay. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline. Making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Okay, that was stupid. Not necessary. the hell Oh my god I didn't see that Oh That was not necessary I actually didn't interact with that thing before. Now I'm doing it. Oh, this opened also. Chapter four, nice. I think we should stop it from here. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. At least let's see this cutscene. Oh no, there's no cutscene. Anyways, I think I'll save here. Anyways, thank you, Brokis, for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll make a part four of the this one later on. We almost reached chapter four. That's good. And yeah.
Let me know what other games you want me to play other than other than these categories. And yeah, I'm gonna see you later. Bye, Brockies.